Hello, this is Moses Wen, and welcome to part two of my MATLAB tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some basic operators. So let's start with the addition operator. So let's make a equals one plus three. So basically, all that does is just add 1 to 3, so the result is 4. Addition can also be done with matrices as well. It works the same way as a matrix, works the same way as when you add two matrices together. So it will, it will add element by element. Okay, so as you can see, it's just 1 plus 4, 5, 3, plus minus 3, 0, 4, plus 5, 9, so on and so forth. So it works exactly the same as when you add two matrices together. It's also a similar case when you subtract matrices. So subtraction works like normal. So... 9 minus 5 will equal 4. And it'll, and for matrices, it'll just subtract the two matrices together, so element by element. But this changes when, this whole concept changes when you go into multiply. In MATLAB, when you get two matrices, and let's say multiply multiply them together they'll try to do matrix multiplication to it so if any of you have done mass in let's say high school or whatever you will know that it's impossible to times a, a one by a two matrix by another one by two matrix so yeah, so I'll just add this, I'll just output one result. So basically what I did here is this is transpose. So it'll transpose this matrix, which was originally just that. And when I put a dash behind it, it'll just switch rows and columns. So it'll just make it into a row now. So now you can multiply. Now you can multiply a one by two matrix by a two by one matrix, and the output would be a one by one matrix, which is just twenty two. But what happens if you want to just multiply individual individual elements like corresponding elements? So let's say 1 times 4 and 3 times 6. What we do is put a dot in front. This dot, we use, I would call it a dot multiply from now on. But this is an element by element multiplication. So it will do, it will output a t 1 by 2 matrix, which the first element will be 1 times 4, and the second element will be 3 times 6. So there we have it. 1 times 4 is 4, 3 times 6 is 18. The same thing also applies to divide. Apparently there's something called matrix division, but I'm not sure how that works. So if you ever get like a divide in there somehow, I don't know how that does it, but yeah, that's a matrix division. Somehow it outputs that answer. But if you want to divide each individual L corresponding element, you have to make sure you put a dot. Yep. So a similar case to exponentials. Let's clear the screen for now. So when I do this, it will give me an error once again. Because what, I, what I'm actually telling MATLAB to do is to do this which ain't going to happen. So this 
exponential of two just means times getting that matrix and timesing it by itself again. So that's not going to work. But what happens if you just want to raise the power of like each individual element by this? So let's say one to the power of two and three to the power of two three to the power of two. So once again we do dot and this. So one to the power of two is one and three to the power of two is um nine. Um I was actually going to teach you um functions in this video but I don't have enough it'll be too long so that's it for now stay tuned for my next video and I'll show you how to use functions